Hope Klein, a health education and food safety field specialist with SDSU Extension. Today I'm going to show you how to can green beans. Since green beans are a low acid food, they need to be preserved using a pressure canner. Pressure canners are different than water bath canners as they heat the food by the steam that is built up inside the pressure canner and this gets the food to an internal temperature of 240 degrees. The reason you need your low acid foods heated to the temperature of 240 degrees is because they contain yeast and molds that can thrive in an environment of just 212 degrees, which is what a water bath canner heats food to. So you need to achieve that higher temperature just to ensure that the food inside of your jar is safe for enjoying and consuming. So when you're chopping up your green beans, after you have washed them, you want to do uniform sizes so that they all cook at the same rate. And we're using our jar funnel to make it easier to get the beans placed in the jar. And today we are canning into pint sized jars. These are a good size if you are canning to preserve um, for yourself or maybe one to two others. If you're canning for your family of a larger size, you might want to consider canning into quart size jars, which are twice the size of the pint. And if you're canning in the quart size jar, you just want to make sure that you pay attention to the processing time for pint versus quart size. So today we're using the raw pack method of canning our beans. So what that means is that we are packing our beans in raw, um, completely uncooked, and then we're pouring hot water over the beans. Now that we have our canner loaded up with our jars, we're ready to place our lid on. So we have our lid placed on and we're waiting now for the heat and steam to build up inside the pressure canner and we're waiting until we have a nice flow of steam coming out of this vent port. Once we achieve that flow of steam, we are going to time it for 10 minutes. This allows for the cold air to come out of the pressure canner and for the canner to build up with steam. Now that we have let the pressure canner steam out for 10 minutes, we're ready to put our weight on. So what you want to do is grab the appropriate weight that you need, hold it with a pot holder, and then you go ahead and push it on to the vent port quickly so you don't burn your fingers. These nice short jiggles are what you want to achieve. If you get a jiggle that lasts too long, this is going to result to overprocessing as you are quite a bit above your pounds of pressure. So you want these nice shorter jiggles between one to four per minute. So now that we've achieved our correct pounds of pressure, we're going to go ahead and set our timer for 20 minutes because we are doing pints. When you remove your jars from the pressure canner, you want to make sure to place them on a dish towel so that you have a surface between the bottom of the jar, which is still hot, and then the top of your counter or table, just so that you don't have any jars that crack as a result of that temperature difference. And you'll leave them on your table for 12 to 24 hours before you check the seals and place them in a cool, dark, dry location have allowed the jars to sit for 12 to 24 hours, it is time to check the seal. There are a few ways to do this. The first is to press the middle of the lid with your finger. If it springs up when you release, the jar is not sealed. Another option is to tap the lid with the bottom of a spoon. If it makes a dull sound, the jar is not sealed. If the jar is sealed correctly, it will make a high-pitched ringing sound. The third option is to hold the jar at eye level and look across the lid. The lid should be curved down slightly at the center. If the center of the lid is flat or bulging, it may not be sealed correctly. 
Thank you for watching this video on how to pressure can green beans. I hope you find yourself more confident in your pressure canning abilities and are able to enjoy the fresh taste of home canned green beans year round.